Peter Buck from Eagle Eye here again and uh, to show you some of the electronics and how simple it is with this is the Rover. The base station is about a kilometre, kilometre and a half away but this is how minimal the wiring is on the GPS. And if I look in there now, so it's 0.3 of an inch right of track. So 0.3 of an inch, you know, that's about eight millimetres off track. So to be only eight millimetres off track, and it tends to track there fairly well. Um, it says now it's gone back to right on track, so or 0 0.1 of an inch. So very accurate GPS, the two um, receivers up top, Know, there's one on this side and one on the other side so to be the further out front the more accurate it is instead of having one GPS receiver on the machine um, yeah and it's working really well but I just want to show you the minimum amount of wiring that the TNL's got this wires back to the precision linear panel um, which I'll show you in a second but yeah just very maintenance and pretty much carefree we've just turned the machine off it might be a little bit quieter but I uh, just wanted to show you the precision panel that we use. So this is a precision, precision linear two panel. Um, you know, it's directional control, speed control, um, auto end gun, or if you've got other features like overhang shut off and all that, you can run through this. Um, and you know, distance sensors, or well, now we've got the GPS on there, the, that all wires back through here. So that's a, the GPS control, and this is the usual, well, this is the current setup that we use. On linears and it works really well it's it's you know it's not a touchpad screen it's a button screen but it's very easy to run through um, a guy when we set up machines we can run them through this screen and you know it's fairly straightforward guys pick it up pretty quick with the manual and that um, and then it's got also got the Murphy panel John Deere motor six-cylinder John Deere motor running this with a Cornell pump we love the Cornell pumps they're you know their efficiency is very high and they're a long wearing long lasting pump when we've been specking machines guys are really happy with the fuel usage that we're getting out of the machines um, you know they do exactly what they're going to say most of the time the efficiencies are running in the mid 80s sort of you know 84 85 percent on linears um, and using minimal amounts of, of fuel and yeah i just thought i'd show you the fairly simple basic setup that the tnl's got um, makes it easy to run. Any farmer can run it. Um, any farmer's employer can run it when he's been run through it a couple of times. So, yeah, we 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 enjoy selling this product and and we enjoy selling this John Deere Cornell setup as well.